Hi, I'm Hunter Howe. I'm one of the designers of the Sims 2 Pets Expansion Pack. Uh, this pack allows you to get pets for your Sims through adopting them, breeding them, and just making them right in the game. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that, and then we're going to pop into a house and show you how pets behave in the Sims world. Uh, it's coming out in October, and let's just get right to it. So here's Create a Family, like you know and love, but now we're dealing with dogs, and one of the first steps in creating a dog is picking what breed you'd like it to be. So here we have a whole bunch of pets from real life, so you can find a lab or a borzoi here, and you can also customize them to make them your own. So if we want to start out with the Dalmatian, we can just take his spots off. He's not much of a Dalmatian anymore, but we can customize him from there. So let's make him sort of a dark brown and just add some markings to him. So we can add this muzzle color, or we can mess with his ears, and really make him sort of my own unique pet. So I'm gonna make both of his ears white. Um, it's kind of odd, looks a little funny, but I can do it. And add a patch to his back. And what I can do here is actually layer a bunch of these on top of each other to create a custom type looking dog. Uh, I can change the opacity here, so if I want it to be subtle spot, I can make it subtle, or if I want it to just be, you know, bold white, I can do that too. So now I've got a bunch of markings on here, and now I want to change his body around. So much like you can customize sims, you can customize pets. So as you see, we're going for some of these presets that are different body types and facial types for the dog. But really I can just use some of these sliders and say I want him to be really beefy, or I want him to be skinny and uh, I can customize them in that way. And I can go right into the details of the face just like I can with a sim. So if I wanna take his snout and move it up or move it down, I can do that. If I wanna make him, give him a really small head, I can give him a big head. Um, all of these options are available to the player. And here I can pick his ears if I want them to be up or if I want them to be down and I can modify those in a very similar way. And of course, you can give your pet a collar. Uh, no pet would be complete without one. And we give you a whole bunch of options to pick from there. Now personality is an important part of your pet. So you can pick from all of these traits. Do I want him to be lazy or hyper? Do I want him to be finicky or a pig pen? I can pick from these uh, choices similarly to how I can pick a Sims personality. Cats, of course, are in the game as well. And you can pick breeds and modify them in a very similar way to dogs. Here, just an example of a few cat breeds that we have in the game. And now we're in a house. As you can see here, we have some pets here already. We have a mother cat, Jade, and uh, her two kittens. And you can see right off the bat that we have genetics in The Sims 2 Pets. The uh, parent pets combine their genetics to uh, form their offspring. And uh, it's very similar, in fact, to the way that we deal with Sims in uh, The Sims 2. And here we have a sim that's really looking for another pet. So she wants to adopt a pet, and there are a whole bunch of ways to get pets in uh, The Sims 2 Pets. One of the ways is to adopt one over the phone. You can also go to a pet store and buy one, or you can find a stray that you like and adopt them into your house. So we're gonna go to the pet adoption service, and we get a whole bunch of options of, uh, of dogs and cats, and let's get a dog for this family, so we'll adopt Skip. And the animal control officer will be by soon to drop Skip off, but this gives me an opportunity to tell you a little bit about how pets work in a house. Jade, our cat here, if we can go over here and look at its, uh, at its panel here, we can see that she has needs just like a sim does. She has a need to scratch, unlike a sim does. But, you know, she's, she's living in this house, but we can't control her. So we need to give her the right objects, give her things that she needs. But we're not going to be able to tell her exactly what to do at any given time. But what we should do, definitely, is now that Skip's here, start off with a good relationship with him. Because Sims and pets alike both have relationships, and they have them with each other, and pets have relationships with pets. And those can be either high or low. They can be friends or they can be enemies, just like Sims. So we're going to start this off on the right foot, get some relationship points with Skip, and that's going to help us out in the future a little bit. And it looks like Jade is up to something in the house over there, so... Let's go see, oh, Jade is uh, tearing up the furniture, unfortunately, our nice atomic furniture. And so we're gonna say, it's not good to scratch stuff, Jade. This is reinforced behavior, and it's really important to let your pets know what they should and what they shouldn't do. And one of the things they shouldn't do, if you want, is say, no, no scratching furniture, you should be scratching your scratching post instead. 
and let's give her a hug just to, um, okay. So as I said before, relationships, doesn't look like Jade likes him very much. And looks like Jade also took his seat. Unpleasant. Looks like Skip's up to something, and he looks like he's knocking over our trash. Uh, great job, Skip. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, we picked him as a pig pen dog. We, we saw his traits when we adopted him, and we were okay with pig pen there, so we got to do some training to uh, account for the fact that those are his tendencies, and he'll react in a pig pen type way to the world around him. So no, it is not acceptable. You're not going to be rolling around in trash anymore. And we'll see him actually stop doing things like that. And we see Jade over here is actually behaving in the way that we told her to before. So now she's scratching her scratching post, and this is good, so we're going to praise that even more. And when you praise something or scold something long enough, you actually unlock commands that give your sims the ability to control your pets more directly. So if you really want your cat to go crazy and scratch things all the time, you can tell them, hey, I want you to go scratch things right now, and they'll go around the house and just go into a scratching frenzy. And, you know, maybe that's what you want to do with your pets. So we're going to give her a hug and make sure our relationship's really secure. So another important part of Sims 2 Pets is teaching your pet tricks or commands. So now, hey, we're going to teach you, this is how you play dead. Uh, playing dead looks a little bit like this. And Skip may or may not get the, get the point, he may not figure this out. Or he may get it quickly, if he's a genius type, he might learn more quickly. And it looks like he's getting it pretty well, actually, he looks like he's hamming it up quite a bit. So, he seems like a shoe-in for uh, show business. So, he's actually got a career in show business, and he can be picked up, just like a sim, to go to work. So he's gonna run off to work now in a show business career, and to advance in those careers, you need to learn new tricks. So, that's what Skip's future's gonna be like, and he's gonna get some money for our household. So, thank you very much, Skip. Go off, get us some bank. And looks like we have a stray, actually, on the lot there in the background. Jade, though, I hear is a little bit fiercely territorial and looks like she's going to lay down the law. This pretty much is going to get ugly. So that's The Sims 2 Pets for PC. Look for it in October on the shelves and look to our website for more information, thesims2.com. And thanks very much for watching.